It has to end. William and Harry urged to bury Hatchet with Field no closer to being over. William and Harry have been urged to mend their field and come back together to help with their mother's charity. So guys, as we get right into the full stories, please do ensure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. Diana's sons were urged to end their field after failing to acknowledge each other at a ceremony for the only charity set up in her name. Today would have been Diana's 62nd birthday, but at yesterday's event to celebrate her legacy, Harry and William made no reference to one another in separate video messages recorded more than 5,000 miles apart. It was in stark contrast to the same events two years ago when Harry said, William and I recognizing mom's 60th birthday. The estranged brothers avoided speaking about each other and left it to their offices to coordinate separate appearances with the Diana Award charity. After witnessing the prince's appearances and with no sign of any rapprochement between them, royal expert Michael Cole said it has to end. The bitter battle between the royal princes cannot go on forever. The best way William and Harry could honor the memory of their mother would be to bury their differences right now. The siblings have not seen each other properly. You know, on the last two occasions, Harry has traveled to the UK from the US where he now lives with Meghan and children Archie and Lilibet. King Charles, who was just evicted the Duke and Duchess of Sussex from their Frogmore Cottage home at Windsor, also avoided meeting his younger son. But William and Harry found some unity yesterday in honoring their mother's memory at an award ceremony, recognizing more than 180 young people from 31 countries. Harry, who deepened the family rift with attacks on his father, brother, and stepmother in his memoir Spare, published in January, said his mother's legacy continued to serve as an example of how to navigate the complexities of today's world. His appearance came as the organizers of the award revealed Harry had visited an event in Los Angeles last month to surprise four of the winners with their certificates. The Duke joined participants of Conversations um, for Change, which aims to bring young people together around a key social issue. It was on this trip that the Prince filmed his video address for the ceremony alongside Legacy Award recipient V. Cativo. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye. <laughs>